Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cal. And I'm Fantastic. Also known as Ghost. Thank you. Speaking of Fantastic, the studio is back. Uh, they posted on Twitter saying that they need our help. And by help, they mean your money. <laughs> they need help. Bond it. <laughs> right. Mm. They need they need your uh your uh your money to bring back their studio that they took the time to destroy themselves. Honestly, I think I they're just, <laughs> I just don't know about none of that. That's just crazy. They came back too fast. Like you didn't even let you didn't even let you guys, you know, simmer down, like let the smoke no. die out a little bit so we can kind of forget, you know, the internet's memory is pretty trash already. They'll forgive you in about 6 to 8 months. But they couldn't even wait a year. And they're like, "Oh, we're back and we need your money again to help rebuild this studio <laughs> so we can yeah. make, so we can make a game that we probably should have done in the first place." <sighs> Nah, they were there acting like that old Dave Chappelle meme, like the crackhead over there scratching. <laughs> like, <laughs> crazy. No, well, absolutely not. They're back, and they have a neat little, you know, uh, company page for you to click on. They got an FAQ page. Uh, they also have, like, their mission statements of, like, what they're going to do to try to improve their studio. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't believe none of it. <laughs> I don't either. I I really don't think it's worth you know paying them any attention, and we need to let you know the studio die out. Um, the they are making a new game called uh, Escape Factory, which is something that I felt like they it's right down the line of what they should have made in the first place. Um, okay. Also, I was reading. Um, about you know when they first started they actually had a decent uh, idea for the uh, the day before it was supposed to be like a really small scale survival type shooter but with a cartoon aesthetic um, set it was set place uh, during the winter time but those two uh, moronic brothers that are leading the entire studio uh, they wanted something bigger more realistic and so that's kind of how they started pushing towards this disaster that we were all privy to last year i i think they just what's the old folks saying i've just got too big for their britches like <laughs> like you guys bit off more than you could chew you're a small oh, indie well, studio man. like you should have taken the time to you know do all these smaller projects and then over the years you continue to build up your resume you build your team, continue to hire more developers as your projects became more successful. And then you can upgrade to like a double A studio. Maybe you get some funding from uh, like a big, like Microsoft or Sony. They'll give you a, some cash and then you put it as an exclusive on their plot. Nah, we just going to skip straight to triple A. Uh, yeah, that's not... <laughs> But you know what, though? I also appreciate the fact that they just said, screw it. Like, let's just do it. Let's go all the way. Let's try it. it but it just didn't work. And then you came back and were like, hey, guys, I know it didn't work, but we need your help to try and make it work. I'm, I'm just, no, well, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good on that. We need <laughs> we need your help to fund our next game. They've already, as far as, far as I know, they got like 48 backers. They need fifteen thousand dollars to uh, complete this project, and if they don't reach it, they're just closed for good. Just let them close for good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's just. It was a really cool attempt. Like I'm totally here for it, but we need to. We need to. We just need to move on. Like, yeah, let's yeah. just. No. Um. No. Honestly, when I saw backers, <laughs> that's all the staff, man. <laughs> right <laughs> it's just the staff i don't care i've said it before it's just the staff that are paying for it or the volunteers no. that they also have <laughs> that they skim scammed oh man they said you get, you get special codes and beta access and the code to the vending machine so <laughs> have yeah, fun with that bro. i'm sorry Good do luck. not let people use you like that your time when you're working on something for somebody else your time is money I'm sorry. I don't care how much you love something, how much you're passionate. Make sure you're getting paid for what you do. Um, make sure you're compensated uh, 
for the time you put into something. Um, it just don't make no damn stats, man. But I, mean, I, crazy. I already knew this was just gonna be a shit show. Um, they when they put out that trailer, the first time, the very first one, everybody got so excited about. It. I'm like, this is, yeah, this this game is not gonna launch looking like this at all. We'll look around here, I guess. Shall we split up? Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. Because this immediately reminded me of the way uh, The Division was first announced by Ubisoft. The store was empty. I heard that gunfire. Nick, check your map, see if there's anything in the area. Uh, a lot of those elements that we saw in the trailer didn't even exist by the time the game came out. If you go back and look at that first trailer, you would think that you were playing an actual Tom Clancy game. You know, this dark, gritty survival shooter, four-player co-op, in incredibly immersive, um, detailed environments. You know, you're just you and your three other buddies just going through New York City trying to survive, upgrading your weaponry, you know, maybe scavenging for... Uh, materials in all the different buildings in New York. Maybe you got quests from different people in certain uh, sections of New York, completing missions, uh, stealth mission. Like that's what I expected just based off of that first trailer. We that's didn't get what we that. Got. Oh, just kidding. That's not what we got. <laughs> we didn't get that at all. We got a looter shooter, which is the complete opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, when X Defiant first came out. They. they Splash that Tom Clancy name. You don't get that shit off of there. That's not Tom Clancy. Uh, 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 Tom Clancy, they put the spray paint over to like the punk rock type titan. Oh my god, bro. You're irritated. Immediately irritated. Um, <laughs> it's only okay. <laughs> I hate that. Stop. Because they uh, they're obviously using Tom Clancy's name to sell. That's the only reason it's up there. Uh, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm immediately irritated. And on top of that, like through their entire development, the whole time we're waiting for this game launch, they end up delaying it three times. The first one I feel like was the most reasonable. Uh, they wanted to go with the Unreal Engine 5 uh, instead. Of, and they wanted to upgrade the game to a different engine, which is... That's fair. Which I'm fine with yeah. that. And then the second time, they, <laughs> the game got actually taken off of Steam because they had a trademark dispute with uh, another... Uh, another... Uh, what's the what's the word? It was an app that was called The Day Before. It was a calendar app. It's incredibly popular, by the way. But they had a trademark dispute with the calendar guy. And they eventually <laughs> got that settled. <laughs> And then nine days before launch, it was delayed again. But this time they said it's not coming to consoles. It's coming straight to Steam through early access. Um, so, and then on launch day, we got exactly what I thought it would be. A complete disaster. Like this is what this is going to be. And all of a sudden, that was nothing to what we thought it was going to be. And then you have the audacity to come back and be like, hey, man. We gotta make sure this payroll's uh, hitting so it can slide a couple <laughs> bills this way. No, absolutely not. You might as well be like that dude from, um, what was that executive? Was it from Ubisoft or whatever that was out there buying Lamborghinis? Or those oh, I, that was, uh, that was actually, the... uh, was a uh, bungee, not bungee. It was, oh, was it? The people who made the studio behind Destiny. Um, it's bungee. Yeah, was that bungee? Yeah. Yeah, bungee. <laughs> this man over there yep. buying a 1969 court, um, Mustang and they're talking about it while buying coffee while people are getting fired. Right. Well, yeah, barely afford crazy. groceries. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he was way out of touch. And then on top of, you know, them pushing, having such great reception for their last DLC and then people still got fired. Yeah. Um, speaking of bad workplace, uh, Fantastic is uh, they also had bad, also had a terrible uh, workplace environment. Because apparently people were being, there were reports coming out that people were being fired for just speaking their mind or going against what management wanted. No, I'm just kidding. That's my stuff. <laughs> uh, that all jokes aside, that's my stuff. Uh, that really is. That's foul. You try. You 
<laughs> it's a terrible way of doing business. I just want to say that now on what? the channel. You don't like the way I did anything? <laughs> Get out of here. That's crazy talk. So, like, I... Ooh, oh, man. can't believe I said that. That's wild. Like, yeah, the workplace is a little bit disaster. <laughs> um... <laughs> I've already talked about their volunteer system, which is also terrible because I'm like, if you have people on the payroll working on the game, they're, they should be considered employees as well. They deserve to be paid. Uh, First off, we ain't volunteering for crap around here. Right, right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, another thing that they did was, um, what was I going to say? Because there was so much like, uh, what's the word? Because the environment was just so toxic. Uh, people just started leaving and then taking their work with them. So one guy just left, deleted two months worth of work, and got out of voice and was just gone. And then that meant that anybody new that they hired had to just start from scratch all over again. Which, you know, all of that going on just kills morale within the team. Like, tell you what, constantly nothing having to... <laughs> nothing says I'm done like a little control alt delete task manager. <laughs> Cause that, cause oh. that's just some petty that's something petty that I would do like bro I'm sick of this you know what I'm just taking everything I did <laughs> putting on a thumb drive I'm out right Jackie, y'all ain't getting nothing from me uh, but yeah the game launched with bare bones they had no multiplayer menus no voice chat no progression system constant bugs stuttering poor frame rate terrible enemy ai Why are you uh, wimping up? Why a you lot it? of people couldn't even get through to the game most people's game time was spent in a login screen couldn't even get in to play the game i don't understand why they want to do that in the first place considering you know we have plenty of on the ground footage of what was happening in game so i don't understand why you spent that much time trying to get in to see it for yourself we have plenty of evidence. That's like, you see, you know, when we watched the, the weatherman outside and he's just standing out yeah. there and, like, well, brother, I don't need you for you to be out there I risking your know. life for to so I can see the hurricane. I can see it. You just put a camera outside. I can tell that's dangerous. You don't put you the weather. <laughs> this Friday. That's crazy. <laughs> My man ramped all the way up. You were standing on your tippy toes at the desk. I could feel it. You sitting down. Your calves are burning. <laughs> I'm gripping the side of the table just now. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, I mean, that's what I expected. I, I'm I'm getting pretty good at at knowing when disaster is about to hit, and the writing was on the wall. Also, before you know, they were also. Uh, I think it was like a year before they launched, they put out like a 10 minute trailer, which they shouldn't have done because, you know, one thing gamers are going to do is just go frame by I frame. Over it all. Yep, absolutely. Uh, people found out that they were, you know, just straight copying um, the same like scenes from Call of Duty, you know, using the same font as like The Last of Us, uh, the same screenshots or, or like copy and paste of The Division. Um, just it was just all starting to pile up you know if just in a vacuum that wouldn't be that big of a deal when everything yeah, starts compiling together it's just like oh which you know what though if you were to take something from another game like i'm cool with that like that's fine like hey that was a really cool concept that they had let's take like let's put a spin on it yeah absolutely But when you're taking straight assets from something else that's crazy right like come on man like there needs to be some originality to it but they also they also released that tape of that game knowing that that's not what that game was right like that's another thing like you knew yeah like, that's who looked who looked side to side and said all i hear is that meme who's gonna know <laughs> we are Right. Of like we are going to figure out what the hell is wrong. Like what was it, Madden twenty twenty three or whatever that still had assets from twenty twenty two in the game? Yes. On release? Nah y'all crazy. <laughs> That's it's what crazy what we have to deal with as gamers and how like vigilant we have to be for like for scams. Cause if you or if you advertise it as something as this and then you sell it as that that's considered a scam because i didn't get what i was originally promised um I don't know, man. but yeah that's right. Cookie don't give so. this 
to end everything up, to wrap everything up in a shit bow. Don't give these people no money. Uh, ignore them. Stop. I, I better not check this website after I get off and see if they have any more bathrooms. Hey, now they get my $50. I'm just not going to tell you. Why are you sucking teeth? <laughs> Guys, don't I'm give this video no, no money. All right, Ghost, you got any last thoughts? I hope the next game's good. It better be free to play, though. I don't want them to get any more money. They said after this game, they're done and they're closed the studios, and that's what they deserve. Oh, hell. Don't give them none of your money, then. Right. But that's it. I hope y'all have a great, wonderful, amazing night. Indeed. Enjoy the weekend, guys. Uh, we thank you guys for listening to us uh, rant. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a video. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. Deuces.